What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here back with another specialist guide today. We are going to be taking a look at the new 12th specialist called Outrider. Now Outrider was first introduced back in Black Ops 3. Since then she has made her way into Black Ops 4 in the new Grand Heist operation. And she does have a very cool little backstory behind her. Plus she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So let's check out this Street Smart Stealth Slayer. Outrider or Alessandra Castillo is a member of Brazilian Special Forces where she specializes in recon and killing enemies from long distances. She was an orphan on the streets of Rio de Janeiro's Rochina Favela and growing up in the slums riddled by gang violence that taught Alessandra how to keep a sharp eye and keen wit. After that, she joined the Brazilian army at the age of 18, and because of her agility and observational skills, it quickly earned her a place in the special forces. Now, as an advanced scout, she stalks the battlefield, tracking down her prey before destroying it with lethal accuracy. She spends her spare time traversing around rooftops to rooftops, watching the people moving in the streets below, noticing patterns, and learning how to predict their movements. Moving on to Outrider's specialist equipment, she carries the Hawk drone, which is a portable drone that will tag enemy players, giving you intel on where their exact location is, and you can see where the player is moving even through walls, so very, very useful. It takes about 1 minute and 50 seconds to fully charge up the Hawk, and it's going to last for 50 seconds, and within that time frame, you can fly the Hawk drone to various locations around the map where players are either spawning to, or wherever there is a high traffic area. Keep in mind though that you are removing yourself from the game if you use the Hawk, but the intel it can provide you and the team is very, very useful, especially for objective game-based modes. For example, in Hardpoint, you can place the Hawk drone somewhere in the sky or in some hidden location, so that way players won't think to shoot it out of the sky. Plus, if they do find the drone, then they too are taken out of the game for a while because they have to shoot down the drone. Now what I have been doing in games is placing the Hawk drone in a high traffic area and then once I've slayed out that area I'll get back in the drone and move it to a different location and when it comes to picking a location I like to find a area that's very wide and it's going to cover a lot and then so yeah after that I'll rotate somewhere that allows me to get a good visual of the player so I can rack up as many kills as possible. Now if you want to you can switch out the Hawk for another piece of equipment because like I said you are taken out of the game for a moment while using the Hawk plus you might be able to get more of a better combination if you run say like the trophy system or a concussion grenade and then combining that with Outrider specialist weapon the Sparrow could be very very deadly. Next up for Outrider's specialist weapon, she uses the Sparrow, which is a crossbow with an explosive arrow. And the blast radius is going to be on screen for you guys. The Sparrow is a very deadly specialist weapon because of how lethal the aim assist is. It does take a little bit of accuracy on your part though. However, I find it to be one of the best specialist weapons to use in the game because of the damage it does. It takes 8 minutes and 25 seconds to fully charge up the Sparrow and it comes with 10 stock arrows, but you may not be able to use all 10 of them unless you rapid fire the arrows one right after the other, but then the distance at which the arrow travels is going to be decreased. One of the new changes you'll also notice about the Sparrow is it now comes with a custom scope, which is going to help you out for getting those long range kills, and the Sparrow will also destroy barricades, razor wires, Nomad's dog, and even Ajax shield isn't strong enough to stop a arrow. Also, most of the score streaks are all very weak towards the Sparrow except for the strike team, which takes an insane amount of arrows to destroy the ship and also the team itself. But for the Mantis, the Sentry Gun, the RCX D-Car, the Attack Chopper, most of the streaks all take about one to three shots with an arrow. And so yeah, basically guys, this is a very, very good specialist to use. I personally really love using Outrider. I loved her in Black Ops 3. And if I'm going to be playing for kills, it's going to be a very fun character to use. And she really does just fall into place perfectly with all the other specialists. She's not insanely overpowered or the character is not broken. And you may say to yourself, well, why would I even use her? 
overall she's a very good character to use so guys that's going to be it for the guide let me know your thoughts about her down below in the comments also drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching until next time i'll see you later